What's up, what's up, what's up, everyone? Adrian Morrison here, and I want to welcome you to the Profit Power Hour. Um, you should all be able to see my screen. I'm going to go ahead and get my camera on. Um, everybody should see me now. Guess what? Starting next week, I'll be in my own office. Right now, I'm at the kitchen table. Uh, you know, we're still moving and all this stuff. So I'm very excited to have an office. You won't see all the seashells and coral and all that stuff that came in this house when we bought it. Um, I'll have like, uh, yeah, I'll have an office with a good mic. I won't have to use my AirPods anymore. Uh, but excited to have you here. Glad to be back on camera. I know last week I wasn't um, on camera. The connection was just really, really low. So hopefully um, tonight uh, the camera connection will be pretty solid. So you should see me, you should see the screen. Um, and let's just dive right into this as everybody kind of piles in here. On the right hand side, you got all my social media. So Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Snapchat, Clubhouse, Twitter, there should be some more coming soon in the future. Um, follow me wherever your heart desires. Um, I'm on all platforms. Um, and on Twitter, I've been very, very, very um like niche specific uh with uh cryptocurrency and stuff like that so um you know it's like the one place i don't talk a lot of e-commerce twitter so uh but instagram i'm always on there facebook always on there youtube every single week i drop a completely free training video on youtube that you should consume about entrepreneurship and marketing um and you know how to crush it online on the left hand side we have some of our uh, recommended Shopify apps. You don't have to have those apps. Um, there are just apps that are there that could enhance your store, optimize it, um, you know, hopefully increase conversions, um, do Facebook targeting research. So you can go to those URLs, you can watch a case study on each of those tools. They're like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Um, you know, get them when it makes sense, right? If, if you want them or need them, right? So you don't have to go get everything in one day. I try to start that out because then I have all these links everywhere and everybody's like, oh my gosh, I have to have all this stuff. You don't. If you go buy a bunch of stuff right out of the gate and you're brand new, you're never going to use it. So do it one step at a time. And if you follow the trainings I put out, you show you, I, I, I show you specific instances that when these tools uh, make good sense. Um, on the bottom, essential fulfillment apps. Um, now, you know, these are like golden standard for my Shopify and e-commerce businesses and many others. Um, my number one pick is uh, still Pillow Profits. I'm highlighting that um, right now at the bottom left of the screen. Um, I'll say this, they're a paid app. I think they're like 20 bucks, 30 bucks, something like that. But they have lightning fast shipping, um, very, very unique custom print on demand products. They have a done for you catalog of uh, uh products that you can one click sell on your store uh really awesome highly recommended made lots of money with them uh shine on is an american company which i think that we'll be talking about a lot uh moving into this holiday season um you know they do lots of jewelry and customized messaging cards and whatnot so uh super fast shipping um, they started in New Jersey, I believe now that they have a factory in like Miami or St. Pete, Florida, one of the two. Um, I, I'm really great friends with their founder. And Zendrop, if you're not using Zendrop yet, where you been? Go get Zendrop. You can get it completely free and it will automate uh, things for you. And it's a way to step by AliExpress and uh, just do things faster in a more automated fashion with a company that has products from both China and America. So you can kind of, you know, choose, do you want faster shipping or higher profit margins, you know, choose. Uh, so, all right, that's our, our welcome screen. Oh, and at the tip top, go to profitph.com slash Adrian, uh, I'm sorry, profitph.com slash Shopify, and you can get a 14 day free trial uh, with Shopify if you want to start a second store or your first store. And I know I do this every week, but you know, every single week we have new, commerce on this webinar and you know by being on this webinar you're you're working with someone that um you know works very closely with shopify i am a top tier shopify partner 
um, and merchant. <clears throat> and so because I have so many students that follow me and because I am endorsed by Shopify and, and my training is endorsed by Shopify, um, they give me special links and they give me some special things I can do for my community because they know that I'm sitting here every Tuesday teaching you, motivating you, showing you the right way to do things to hopefully help you have success, right? So um, at that link I just gave you, uh, profitph.com slash Shopify, they've given me a special um, promotion that like is nowhere else. There might be like one or two other people that have this. I don't know if they do or not. Uh, but essentially you can start your store free for 14 days. Um, and then for your first month, it's only a dollar. <laughs> Instead of paying like the $29 a month fee or whatever for your first month, it's a dollar. So I don't know how long they'll let me use this uh, deal. You can see it says that offer expires. So if you just wanna go ahead and open up a second store or you haven't opened up your first store, if you wanna get this promotion, you'll see my picture on the page. And of course, it's at the link, uh, profitph.com slash Shopify, um, right up here at the tip top of our welcome screen. So just make sure you do that. Um, <clears throat> and just so you know, I have no clue when they're gonna take that promotion away from me. I did have a 30 day free trial, I think it was. And then they hit me up one day, they were like, hey, this is maxed out, this is full, we're switching to a new promo. So like, it's, I'm kind of at their mercy and they are very merciful because they keep giving us great deals. So we love Shopify. Um, all right, so if you're new to the, uh, the PPH, I wanna welcome you, excited to have you here. Uh, this is a, a webinar series that we do every single week. Um, I just like stop everything I'm doing and um, make Tuesdays prioritized for you. And I've been doing it since I think 2014, 2015. Um, and this webinar series is one of the reasons that my students are so successful that get in my programs because they get in my program and they stay motivated because I show up for you. As long as you show up for yourself, I'm gonna show up for you here on these webinars every week and show you what's working right now, what's trending right now, where you should be focused right now, keep you on the cutting edge right now, so you never fall behind. I have a no person left behind policy. Awesome. All right. So um, that said, uh, welcome to the PPH, y'all. If you're new, excited to have you here. I love each and every single one of you. Um, <clears throat> while we're waiting on everybody to pop in, just go ahead to our Facebook group. Uh, go to our Facebook group at facebook.com slash group slash profit PH, right? And tell everybody, get the button on here before the webinar max is out. And uh, we're gonna start talking about Q4 and how to profit and what my strategy and what my plan is to profit in Q4. Um, and at the end of the webinar, as you know, I always select a $100 winner. Sometimes I just post in the group. Um, sometimes I go live. And to be honest with you, sometimes if I post versus go live, it just depends on like, is my throat hurting? Am I tired of talking? Because I've been talking for straight for an hour. Um, <clears throat> either way, we're giving away money. Okay. So tell everybody to pop on. And if you're not in the group, go join at profit, uh, facebook.com slash group slash profit PH. And I have some exciting news. Uh, really cool. So we literally just crossed 19,000 members in the profit power hour. 19,000 members, amazing, uh, 20K is coming pretty soon. And um, in this group, when you join, it's free, as long as you're one of my students and you're rubbing shoulders with uh, six-figure, seven-figure entrepreneurs, some eight-figure entrepreneurs are in here, um, and then newbies, complete newbies. So there's someone for everyone in here, someone that um, might reach out to you that has a lot of experience or someone that's in the same boat as you right now just starting out um, So it's a great place um, and everyone in here welcomes you with open arms and some pretty Massive entrepreneurs are in here. So excited to have you in our Facebook group um, And coming back over here <clears throat> um, I, I want to just point one last thing out um, the last week what we did is we went over uh, launching campaigns and setting up our business to really profit off of Halloween. So uh, if you're new and you haven't been here the last week or two, um, <clears throat> if you go over to your 
accessadrian.com account. Literally, you just log into your free accessadrian.com account and go to Profit Power Hour. It's going to open up a free members area uh, where you can look at all of our previous trainings and replays. They're archived for you. They're titled for you. They're in order uh, chronologically. And um, highly recommend that you go and you you watch these trainings and hover your mouse over my profile photo um, here and subscribe. So when I release private videos um, or public videos on YouTube, you get notified and you don't miss them. So you just hover over, hit subscribe, and also hit like. All right. So uh, what we did is we talked about setting up our business to cash in on Halloween. Now. As I sit here filming this video, it's October 12th. So there's still time, right? There's still time. But at this point, if you're running a campaign selling Halloween decorations or anything like that, my advice is to exclusively use US vendors, okay? So uh, don't ship anything from China unless you're using express shipping and you're promoting Halloween stuff. Um, and you know, again, you can come over here to um, Zendrop, which is an amazing uh, platform, kind of a replacement, if you will, to uh, AliExpress. Uh, it's optional that you can get a free account over here. They do have paid upgrades as you like to do a lot of volume, but um, they will import products for you. They will fulfill them everything. So, you know, if you come over here, you might just want to make sure that you're using if you're selling Halloween products, um, like say these masks, which are really popular, you wanna find the vendors that have the US shipping um, and you wanna look at what are these uh, shipping timeframes. So seven to 12 days express shipping um, on this particular item. Some will be faster, some will be um, you know, 10 days. And so just be very careful when you get closer to a holiday. Um, because you don't want people to buy something and then it not show up in time because that equals refunds. Don't want that. All right. So uh, on AliExpress, same thing. If you are, say, wanting to sell these steampunk goggles and we found these trending on eBay a couple weeks ago, if you go back and watch three plays, you'll see that. Um, you can come over here and click on United States and you can find those uh, goggles that ship from the U.S. And like, let's say we click on these steampunk goggles right here, ships from the United States of America. Um, and we want to look at, you know, what are the shipping times? Even when I click US right here, um, <laughs> you know, that's my birthday. Uh, it, it says November 14th. Okay. So like, no, you can't do that. Uh, that's not going to work unless they're buying stuff for next Halloween. Uh, so. I wanted to start out this webinar and I wanted to bring that up because you're gonna find some vendors that have lightning fast shipping from the US and some of them that don't. See like this one, four to 13 days, estimated delivery. Oh, those are really cool too, wow. Those are awesome. They got like a flashlight on them, that's sick. Sorry, I'm like, I like think these are cool so I'm like looking at them. Um, but uh, yeah, a product like this could go for like 30, 40 bucks. Uh, really neat with the flashlight on them. I didn't even mean to find this, but it's already got 407 orders. Could be a good Christmas gift too, um, a good holiday gift. It doesn't have to be just for Halloween. So uh, keep that in mind. A lot of the stuff that you, you might be doing for Halloween potentially could be turned into Christmas uh, marketing as well. That anyways, back on track look at the shipping times okay y'all if you're working with um vendors such as uh these print on demand companies and you're promoting halloween stuff make sure you know what the shipping times are uh t launch is going to be ultra fast t launch is a um <clears throat> u.s company u.s shipping so if you're selling any products uh within the the t launch uh, catalog here then you're probably going to be okay because their shipping times are like so fast um, with pillow profits which is uh, one of my favorite apps in the world to use for fulfillment um, you know make sure that if you're selling like halloween stuff or as it gets closer to christmas or 
Valentine's Day or, or you know whatever holiday it is, um, you when you come over here, you use the express line. So they'll give you updates on shipping times and if there are delays and stuff like that. But you'll notice that if you have the express line, um, things will get shipped significantly faster, usually in less than 10 days. So um, just a you know important point I wanted to start out with, um, as you're running a business in e-commerce and you are selling products, uh, you know, you're selling products that you believe um, are going to be really hot and you're going to get a lot of sales and you get close to a holiday season. Um, make sure that you're using a vendor or that's US based or um, express shipping. That way it gets there in time. And, and, and I want to say this like, I'm just going to take a moment to say this like, look, when you have a campaign, a Facebook ad that's running, and you're selling a boatload of this item. Like, let's just say that you're selling <clears throat> these awesome steampunk goggles right here that have a, a flashlight on the front of them. Um, and they're flying off your virtual shelves and you're just getting all these sales every day and it's making you hundreds of dollars a day, thousands of dollars a day, whatever, right? And you know that it's a Halloween promotion. When you get closer to Halloween, at some point, in good faith, right, and in ethics, you're gonna have to hit the stop button. That's how holiday trends work. They blow up, but eventually you have to stop them because, you know, people are, uh, they're gonna order and expect them sometimes to come in a lot sooner than they can and then refund. So, you know, know your shipping times. And I will say this, it pains me to turn off uh, a Facebook ad that's making money on a holiday promotion, but I have to do it if I know that the shipping time isn't going to be fast enough to get there, right? If it's October 26th, right? And Halloween is in four days. Uh, and I know that there's no way, it's not feasible that, um, someone's order is going to get processed and delivered to their house in three days. Like, come on, right? So I have to kill that campaign. But what's epic is you can turn it on next year and the next year and the next year. Um, you can change it, modify it, uh, turn it into a Christmas promotion or after Halloween sale, like discount the item and call it an after Halloween sale. Uh, you know, we talked about that last week, right? So uh, anyways, make sure that you don't just run a business, but that you run a good business. And sometimes running a good business means that you got to, you know, with holiday stuff, you have to press pause on very profitable ads when it gets too close to a holiday and you know shipping's not gonna get there. Now, don't mistake this for shipping takes forever, right? Uh, it doesn't. Like drop shipping is in a, is in a place now where it's not 30 day shipping anymore, right? Drop shippers are able to get products to their customers within seven days, sometimes as little as five days. It's amazing. And the, some of the biggest companies in the world are drop shippers. Look at Wayfair. You order something from Wayfair, that is drop shipped, right? These big furniture companies, most of them are drop shipping products from China to you. It's crazy, right? So just be mindful during the holidays time frames us vendors right and the thing is um and, and i'll 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 just to make it visual for you because it's a, it's important to me to to make this visual to you um but you're going to see me kind of my face probably go all up in the camera my ipads over here right decisions you have to make decisions sometimes so if, if we're talking about some decisions that we make um so we, we're going to call these, I just call these my um, e-com dilemmas, all right? This is the, your, your typical e-commerce dilemma uh, here is, first off, you have two things that you want to take care of. 
um, when it comes to running a store, right? Number one, first and foremost, is profits, okay? So you want to have profit margins, all right? You want to have a high profit margin. And number two, right, you want to have um, <clears throat> fast shipping, okay? Now, here's, the, here's why I call this a uh, e-commerce dilemma, right? Because typically with drop shipping, um, you have to choose two. But remember, right, because you're doing drop shipping, we're going to get into the holiday training, all right, you also have no inventory risk. So don't forget that. Never forget that, okay? You have no inventory risk. The best part about what we do, y'all, is that you have no risk in inventory. And that's what makes people that are doing e-commerce wildly successful that are doing drop shipping um, is you don't have to worry about the risk uh, of holding inventory, right? So forget that. That's not a dilemma for us. But there are two other things you have to look at as we go into Q4, right? Profit margin is <clears throat> when you're trying to get a high profit margin, all right? So when you are drop shipping from China, you're going to have a very high profit margin, okay? So when you're drop shipping from China, your profit margin is going to be higher. When you drop ship from US vendors, you're still going to get epic deals, right? Uh, but your profit margins are going to be lower. Okay. Now, on the flip, all right, on the flip, if you want fast shipping, all right, so let me just do a better arrow because I'm going to send you all these notes. Um, if you want fast shipping and you're using China, you're going to have not super slow shipping because you can do express lines from China, but you're going to have slower shipping times. And when you're going from the U.S., you're going to have faster shipping times. Now, you have to find during the holiday season, what is our happy medium, okay? What's the happy medium here, right? Between profit margin uh, and fast shipping. So during the, I would say during like, the summer and just regular times of the year, right? Um, what we're really focused on is profit margin. Just, you know, in your average month, your average, you know, no big holiday uh, advertising uh, month, we're really focused on profit margin. So we're going with uh, China, okay? So most of our vendors are gonna be in China because we make more money, right? We wanna make more money. And we're honest with people on the shipping times. But as we move in to the holiday season, we take some of our big hitter products and we start looking at, okay, um, because we know that people are going to want these uh, fast because it's a holiday gift, we start sacrificing profit margin for faster shipping. Does that make sense? And so depending on the time of the year that we're advertising, so January through December, right? Um, there's going to be a time where we are using, say, January we're going to be using 
uh, where uh, a lot of vendors from China where we have higher profit margins. And as we get closer to that Q4, what we do is our profit margins dip a little bit, uh, but our customer volume Okay, so our customer volume right here is going to go up. So our customer volume, let's do that in this yellow. And what happens is our customer volume spikes, okay? So um, what this chart exemplifies here is that this is our profit margin, right? It's our profit margin, and it's gonna probably go down a little bit. But the volume, the sheer volume of customers and sales, right? That we start getting on our store goes up. And so what happens here is we do, in fact, find that beautiful let me just put it in purple we find that happy medium right there does that make sense just say yes if that makes sense to you as time goes on on non-holiday parts of the year you're going to have less sales on a day-to-day -day basis most likely and you know it'll trend valentine's day whatever there'll be those big spikes but as you get over here to q4 right as you get over here to q4 what's going to happen is you're just going to see an explosion of traffic and and so when you're getting a lot of orders right and people are ordering for holiday uh reasons um at this point i just want to throw out there that it might make sense right when you're looking at this dilemma here of profit margin versus shipping speeds to start selling like some of your hot items that you're that you might be selling um <clears throat> from China vendors, right? You should have a backup. So what you should do is, here's a profit point. Okay. For a hot product that you're selling. All right, so you have a really hot product. You should actually have two two vendors. All right. So for this one hot product, you should have a uh vendor number one that you're getting it from that's from USA, and you should have a uh vendor number two where you're you're fulfilling it from China. Now, if you're like, oh my gosh, Adrian, this is like, oh, I don't know how to find two vendors, right? Uh, Pillow Profits has an express line. You're probably good with Pillow Profits. But if you're selling t-shirts, you got T-Launch. If you're selling some of the other random items, you got T-Launch, right? If you're on AliExpress for the same exact product that you might be selling, like these right here, you look, this vendor, you can get them from China or you can get them from the US, right? So sometimes the same vendor will have both China and United States shipping options. But um, one thing that I found as I've run my business the last six plus years or whatever, is that an important thing to have during the holiday season is two vendors that you get the same product from. So you can handle volume, you can handle you know faster shipping if you need it, maybe, um, <clears throat> you know, um, you you uh, you charge people um, an upsell, right? If they want to get ultra fast shipping, 
you charge them an upsell because you pay a little bit more from the USA vendor, right? So you would upsell people for priority shipping and whatnot. So you see what I'm saying, y'all? Yes, just say yes if you see what I'm saying. Um, you can try to increase this profit margin a bit more by charging a little bit more from shipping for priority, uh, you know, faster shipping. So um, <clears throat> as we move into the holiday season, you're going to see this happen in Q4. You're gonna see sales rise, right? And you're probably gonna see margins go down a little bit um, if you use US vendors um, and you're used to using Chinese vendors. It's that simple. Does it mean that you can't use Chinese vendors during the holidays? No, there's a lot of Chinese vendors that, that ship ultra fast, right? Uh, go over all of this in my training uh, if, they do the, if they have express shipping. Um, but you, you just want to be prepared, right? So my job and my responsibility is to prepare you so that you don't go sell a bunch of stuff and then, you know, have uh, angry customers that ordered a Halloween mask or a Christmas gift, but it doesn't come in. And so that's why tonight what I wanted to do is I wanted to discuss real quick this happy medium right here that uh, you, you wanna find during the holiday season, right? Uh, super important. Um, and, and when you're running a business, you have to look at these types of things. And it's not a bad thing, it's a great thing. It's a great thing to be able, it's a great thing that right now here, this year, it's easier than ever to find vendors in the US with ultra fast shipping. You're, the options are endless. You can close your eyes and type in what you're looking for and it'll still come up, right? US vendors and Chinese vendors. So, um, you know, uh, that's that. Now, the reason I wanted to discuss this is because we are gonna start some Q4 training and I wanna share with you uh, some of these, these numbers uh, from last year that I want you to realize, okay? So this is a website called Hulk Apps. They have a, a lot of Shopify uh, data and I think they make uh, Shopify apps, uh, but they're pretty popular and they have uh, 2020 Black Friday, Cyber Monday results. Now, I know you might be like, wait a second, Adrian, it's October, we, we just went over Halloween. Why are we talking about, um, you know, why are we talking about Black Friday? Halloween's not even passed yet because you always need to be ahead of the curve. Hall we were preparing for Halloween two weeks ago, right? That's, we've, we've set up for that. Now we need to start preparing for Q4, Black Friday, Cyber Monday, Christmas, right? These are the things we got to start preparing for. Um, when you're in e-commerce, you always need to be a couple of months ahead of the holiday. So let's look at some of these results, okay? So in 2020, we just saw the biggest boom um, in history for e-commerce on Black Friday, Cyber Monday, um, on Shopify. So 5.1 billion with a B, okay? 5.1 billion dollars was transacted um, in 2020, so last year, uh, just within the Black Friday, Cyber Monday uh, timeframe, right? Year prior to that, it was 2.9 billion. So that's a big jump, right? That is literally, a, uh, what is that, a $2.2 billion jump right there um, in one year, it's incredible. Like the numbers almost doubled. And this year, I think that there, it will be even bigger. I think that more money will be spent online through Shopify. Now, the awesome thing about this, this growth is, as it goes up, is that there is so much volume, right? because this was done through 44 million buyers that bought on a Shopify store. And they're buying from direct to consumer brands, right? They're not buying from like these massive companies. Um, you know, they're going to mom and pop uh, shop stores, um, stores like mine, stores like yours, um, and they're spending money, right? They're, they're supporting small businesses and it's so easy to cash in um, during this holiday, especially I think in 2021, 
uh, because people do want to support small businesses and more people are shopping um, from home. And we'll go over this again in the future. I'm just right now, I'm giving you data. We're just like, what we, what I do every year in my business and every month and every week is I strategize. I look at research and then based upon that research, I make decisions that result in income and profit. And so I want you to look at what I just highlighted. Throughout Black Friday, Cyber Monday, customers paid $89 per order. People are spending money. They're buying multiple items. They're buying multiple shirts and sweatshirts and toys. Um, and you can see this is very important numbers here. Customers spent the most in Japan. <laughs> this is that data that's pure gold, right? You can definitely sell stuff anywhere in the world. I mean, my Shopify store sends uh, products to countries I can't pronounce, right? I'm here in the US, but I'm selling stuff in Australia and, and Sweden and Switzerland and just all over the world, right? So customers in Japan spent the most, Australia in second at $105 and Canada 103 and in the US $92. Now, what could we do with this information? Black Friday, Cyber Monday, the holiday weekend, isn't just Americans in the US shopping, people all over the world are shopping. So what could we do with this information? A lot of you right now, you're thinking to yourself, market in the United States. I live here, I'm marketing here. Um, if you're in Australia, you might, because we have a lot of students from Australia, New Zealand, Canada, a lot of people think about only marketing in their country, running their business. That's the, the mindset of, I, I have a business down the street and the only customer base I have for my business is these people in this town. Well, it's called the World Wide Web, right? So when you start marketing um, your business over the holiday season and targeting whatever it is you're selling, uh, how many of you think you might should like maybe just test out targeting Japan? since they spent more money than anyone else last year. <laughs> Make sure that your vendors, you know, ship worldwide, of course, most do. Um, and Australia, I've always said this, Australia, they spend so much money, it's unreal. Like the biggest orders on my Shopify stores come from customers in Australia. So remember, target Australia, target Japan, target Canada, target, you know, the US. And as we go through, and we look at this data, another key thing, um, I shouldn't even really have to bring this up, but another key thing that you wanna focus on here, I'm just gonna make all of this much bigger for you, uh, is <clears throat> people are using their phones. So make sure that your store looks good on a mobile phone. Pick up your phone, go to your store. Does it look good? Is it easy to find a buy it now button? Right, we'll talk about apps that you could put on your store, most of which are free, um, that can mobile optimize it or make the buy, buy now button easier to find on a mobile phone. Uh, super important. Now, um, some of the niches that you really wanna look at that you might not be thinking about. Health and beauty, obviously that's always a really great niche, but another one, um, <clears throat> Another one that a lot of people don't think about is home and garden. There's so many cool home and garden uh, things that you could be selling on your store. So like I sell a lot of dog stuff. Like my biggest niche is dogs. That's no secret, everyone knows it. Um, people that have dogs, guess what? They also like to garden. They also like to look good too. Like they, you know, they take care of themselves and they buy lotions and potions and you know, all that stuff. They like fashion, they like tactical gear, steampunk goggles. People aren't and should not be boxed in uh, one single niche. People are, are more complex than one niche. Um, and so if I come over here to AliExpress and I type in home and garden, and I come over here and I look for uh, this based off of orders, right? Then we're gonna see what some of these are 
uh, some of these hot items that are selling right now in the home and garden niche, right? So like this uh, vegetable thumb knife separator, this is like one of those things that's probably so easy to sell. I mean, people love this type of stuff, especially um, gadgets like this. And this company has like a little ad already here to exemplify how the product works. Um, and, and another thing is a lot of people, because they're stuck inside, and I would venture to say this is why this is uh, working so well. Since a lot of people are working inside, they're bringing greenery inside, right? So a lot of people with offices are clearly buying this type of stuff. Look, 28,227 orders. People are bringing outside, inside, because they're working from home still even this year. So, you know, just coming over here and, and assessing this data, looking at this data, I'm already seeing some products that we're probably going to start building ads for in Q4. And as we go into Q4, I'm going to be walking through Facebook ads, showing you how we launch promotions and all that good stuff. Tonight, I wanted to kind of go over um, everything for you. And so this company also um, has like a little graph down here. Here we go. Yep, here it is. All right, these were the tre trending categories of last year. Um, toys and games, tons of that. Beauty products, home furniture. Another really great thing in Q4, I think that you'll uh, find sells really well, is the home and furniture niche. <clears throat> and the great thing about the home furniture niche is People are used to waiting a long time. They go to Wayfair, they go to all these places. They're used to waiting forever. It took like six months for me to get a chair in. It's crazy. Like buying furniture right now is crazy. You can drop ship furniture, right? So um, there are so many people just like you and I drop shipping furniture from China and they're getting beautiful, beautiful profit margins. Check this out. <clears throat> Type in furniture and you come over here and organize it by order here. And we'll start seeing some of the things that are working really well, like this multi layer simple uh, shoe cabinet. I know someone that could use one of those. Um, this, uh, this big uh, poofy bed right here. I bought one of those last year. Uh, this, look at this, look how awesome this is right here. Um, Already 716 orders. Something like this, a nightstand with these LED lights underneath it, is 71 bucks for you. Um, they ship it with seven day delivery. Seven day delivery, that's not even a long time. It ships from the United States, 71 bucks. How many of you in here would agree you could probably sell this epic nightstand right here for uh, $250 or so? or 300 bucks. Yeah, of course you could, right? So these are some of the things that I think we're gonna get into <clears throat> talking together um, and, and, and talking with, uh, I got tongue tied, talking with uh, you guys about marketing and setting up ads for some of these very high healthy profit margin products that you probably never thought about um, selling and, and advertising. Um, <clears throat> office chairs like these right here, uh, these are extremely, extremely um, popular because now people are spending more time, again, at a computer at home. So they're buying better computer chairs for home. A lot of people that had regular jobs working, you know, um, in an office didn't have a nice desk at home. So this year, these are going to be a big gift, right? So um, I'm just getting you prepared by looking at the numbers here and i think a lot of people when they start looking at uh shopify and drop shipping they think gadgets but you should be thinking so much bigger than just gadgets too this is another big popular thing people are laying in bed or on their couch and they're on their computer and they're working so 
<clears throat> just by looking at this very simple graph right here and assessing just right out of the gate some of the important things <coughs> that uh, some of the data points that they've they've put on here, I've already found some home run potential products. And remember, you don't have to just sell these on AliExpress. You can come over here to Zendrop, go to find products, and you could type in furniture. And you can find shoe racks and you can find all sorts of, of furniture um, on Zendrop and other platforms. This pulled up uh, some weird search results though, so I may have misspelled it or something. And the cool thing about uh, Zendrop is if you want them to handle everything for you and they don't have the product, if you are using a paid plan by Zendrop, uh, so Zendrop has like Zendrop Pro. Um, if I just come over here to this one Pro plan, let's see if I can pull up their pricing because they have a free plan, but they also have the pro plan. All right, so uh, the, the starter plan's free, okay? But if you upgrade to pro, which is 49 bucks a month, you'll notice that they have this uh, uh, ability to pull in products directly from AliExpress. Uh, they might even let you do it on the free plan now, actually, before it was a pro plan only option. So how do you do that? So let's just say that we want to sell uh, th this really awesome piece of furniture right here, okay? Um, and we wanna do it through Zendrop, but we don't want it, but they don't have it. <clears throat> what we can do is we can grab the URL up here at the top, see the URL in our browser, and we can come over here to Zendrop, right? This the free platform and they're gonna have an import from AliExpress button. So if they don't have a product that you wanna sell really bad, <clears throat> you can paste the, the link from AliExpress <clears throat> right here and um, hit confirm. And when you hit confirm, it'll check and see if they can import it in. And you can see that now after hitting okay, they legit have imported this product in, look at this. Um, we've got our description here, which we could change up if we wanted to. Um, it's still importing everything in. You can see it blinking at the top right here. But we got our product name. Um, we might just kind of change that. 20 colors. Got our description here, which it pulls in the description. Might have to modify this a little bit though. Um, it's going to pull in the variance, the pricing. Look at this, already has it set to a good price. The images, everything that's included. Now watch this, import to store. Okay, come back over here to my products. And you'll see it's importing. So literally, even though this nightstand was not listed, right, in Zendrop, Zendrop will do all the work for me. They'll work with AliExpress. I've imported it in, watch this. This is legit. It's now for sale in my store. That's why I love Zendrop. So if you're not into going through AliExpress and you know going through like all the fulfillment and stuff yourself there, um, we, we live in a new era for drop shippers. It's easier than it ever was when I got started. And now it's so simple to start selling amazing products with automated fulfillment and have them listed on your store in just a couple of minutes. So my internet must be running slow. Hopefully my webcam and my audio is good um, right now. Can everybody still hear me and see me? <clears throat> okay. I may have had a little flub in internet connection, uh, but anyways, so look, it's listed on our store now. Check this out. At 250 bucks, they can uh, choose which version they want. Look at this, type seven in white, type seven in black, type six in white. You'll notice it's a different design. So how neat is that? 
Um, <laughs> that's so funny. That came up. Uh, we were talking about this last week. <clears throat> um, so you have different types, different colors, different variants, and now you're in business, right? You never see it, never touch it, never ship it. Um, so these are some of the things that I'd like to see a lot of, uh, of you putting on your store um, with higher higher, healthier profit margins. And um, I think that over the course of the holiday season, your goal should be to sell what's working, duh, obviously, but also recommend the important lesson from tonight. And that is that don't let greed get the best of you, right? <clears throat> there is always gonna be that profit dilemma right here, right? There's gonna be that dilemma of profit where you know that if you're selling stuff from China, you're with uh, with later shipping or longer shipping, profit margins are going to be better, right? But shipping price, shipping times are going to go down. Remember, based off what time of the year it is, what the smartest thing to do is. Remember that it's not, it's okay to take a product that's crushing it. You're, you're shipping from China it has a little bit longer shipping times. It's okay during the holiday season to sell that same product using a, a secondary vendor with ultra fast shipping because the volume is going to go up, right? Even though your margin goes down, that happy medium here, right? That's uh, right here, this happy medium, your profits are going to save, margins are going to, you're probably going to end up making more money, right? Volume can be way more profitable than less volume and higher margins, if that makes sense. So that's what I wanted to, to give to you all tonight. Um, I'm actually, for the first time in, in under an hour done um, anymore, I would just be rambling. And I wanted to set you up for this Ecom um, <clears throat> Q4, like just ridiculously amazing year uh, that's ahead of us. This is when the time, this is the time when most of the money is made. Even if you don't run an e-com store all year long and you start one in uh, you know, Q4, you have the potential to do hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars that will be generated on stores that literally just did business in Q4, right? It happens every year. Um, so you don't have to have the whole pie. You don't have to have a piece. You just have to lick the knife, right? That's all you got to do during Q4 to make some really solid profits. Remember, find the happy medium. Uh, you want high healthy profit margins, but when holiday seasons are among us, we also want to try to look for vendors with faster shipping times. Um, <clears throat> and the best way to do that is to have a vendor that sells from China or will ship from China and or US. So you can, you know, speed up shipping, slow down, get higher profit margins, whatever you want to do. All right. That said, uh, what I'm going to do is we're giving away a free mini course uh, coming up. <clears throat> I'm not done recording it. I need my own office. Uh, but if you want to get on the waiting list and you're not yet on the waiting list for the free mini course, uh, just go to profitph.com slash secret 2021. It's right there. And um, that will, <clears throat> that link, I believe, yeah, that links, I want to make sure the page is still open. Probably should have done that first. Uh, should let you join the waiting list uh, for the free mini course. Yep, that link will bring this up right here. And you can sign up for a free mini course. Um, I started teaching something on the webinars. And it was like, it, it's a, like there are a couple of steps to it. And I was like, you know what, why not just put this in a, a course and give it to everyone for free and structure it. And that way you get it right. Uh, so get on the waiting list for that. If you're on the waiting list for it, it's free. Um, otherwise, you know, in the future, it'll cost money, but you're one of my VIP students if you're on here. So you get to get it for free. Uh, for those of you asking for the link again, here it is. It is profitph.com slash secret 2021. Um, go to our Facebook group. I'm going to announce a $100 cash prize winner. 
Um, and then when I get this course done, it's free. It's a, not this massive course, it's a mini course. Um, probably end up selling it anywhere from 500 to 1,000 bucks because it's gonna be jam-packed value. Um, you can get it for free and just get on that waiting list. You're not gonna get spams or promotions or upsells or anything like that. It's literally just gonna put you on the waiting list. Um, and chances are, if you're on this webinar, you already get like five emails from me a day because you're on like probably a zillion of my list. So um, that said, I will uh, see you in the group and give away a hundred bucks real quick. And uh, I'll see you next week. We're gonna continue on building a profit plan for Q4, looking at products that are gonna sell, building Facebook ads. So you can kind of see how a Facebook ad should be built in Q4 for Black Friday, Cyber Monday, then preparing for Christmas and Thanksgiving holiday. So much money to be made. We're in this, this, this uh, small window of opportunity each year, this Q4 window of opportunity where it is 10x simpler to get sales and tons of sales, profitable sales, than any time else. So you're in the right place at the right time. You just have to be here every single Tuesday at 9 p.m. Eastern and be ready to consume and then take action. All right, I love you all. I uh, wish you a, a ton of success. Stay healthy, um, stay safe, and um, I'll see you in the group to give away 100 bucks. <clears throat> and uh, I'll see you next week here on the Profit Power Hour. Okay, good night, y'all.